we're in a we're in a deep doo-doo right now. Hey, uh, just in case. Hey. I'm messing up on your paddling. Just in case anyone watching at home, they don't realize uh, in the first session, uh, this team they ran into some fishermen in a bay near Waterdeep. The fishermen were captured what appeared to be a giant fish, and they were begging for help. Some of our players, being good Samaritans, took a rowboat out and met with the fishermen and used spears to kill the giant fish that they captured. And as they hauled in the captured fish, it turned out to be a merman, or mermaid rather, who was killed. Uh, and that, at that moment, some of the players heard the cries of merfolk throughout the bay near Waterdeep. And as uh, war goes, merfolk never forget. So here they are, the merfolk are, are starting their revenge because nothing is better and sweet than revenge at the high seas. So, what I'd like to do is we're going to start with the initiative with my one guy and the giant crab and the rest of you. So let's roll for initiative. Initiative. I rolled an 18! I did not! Hold on, 9... Again, not, uh, 18, all right, go ahead. Uh, 17. Uh, 7. 13 plus. Unprepared is a bad time. Woo! Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna let you go first. Let me get your name up here. You're killing it, uh, this, uh, mix. 14 for... Kill him! Hoping I don't run out of those guys. Should have the lucky team. And then, uh... I don't need it. You had 8, oh, who had 15, 16? I had 17. 14. 14. 14. 14. 17 and 14. Yeah. I thought I could do much. Mia, what did you get? Oh, I'm sorry. Seven. Yes, yeah. 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 babe. Yeah. 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 All right, we're, we're establishing initiative order. I like the whoops. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Uh, the crew is going to go last for you guys and Mia. Kiru, what did you get? So this is the order that we have. Uh, Nyx, the merfolk and his crab, Cassidy and Conrad, Kiru, Mia, and the crew of the, uh, the Sea Ferret. So, a lot needs to be done. You're on the ship. What would you like to do this time? Um, so can I like row us back or do I have to fight? Can I row by myself? You can, or? You can do it, but if you get... If you grab both of those uh -huh. from him, you can do it. 12 or higher strength check. Alright, dude, you know help. I got this. Yeah, I'm useless. She's killing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suck. <laughs> yeah. 12. Whoa! Good Ooh. job. <laughs> Where would you like the ship to go? Uh, that way. Okay, move it to the side of the boat. Excellent. Out of the way of the, the giant crab. Give him a hand. Look at this girl. Take my hand. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. Bro. Uh, the bad guy's turn. Crab is moving. Is. Do we hop out or we still the crab moves? You guys are up there right now. Uh, your turn was to move and over it. So you did that. You brought them over there. So the next turn they go, then you'll go. The crab movement is not too good at all. So 20 feet. We'll say about up to here. This thing is massive and it will do damage to your boat. And the boat already took uh, 31 points of damage. The crab? I ain't that good. No, oh, the, the boat? boat? I gave you guys a sample a while ago since you don't have it. Um, I it, was like it the hull, the hull, basically the structure of the boat has 300 hit points. Okay, We're at 89%. Right. <laughs> uh, the helm, which is the, the mechanism under the ship that helps maneuver it, is uh, 75 points of uh, uh, hit points. Went. This merman is going to leap and dive into the water and disappear, disappear into the depths. Uh, those markers indicate the sounds of hooks clanking onto the sides of the railing. These massive fishing hooks for the rest of the uh, Mia and the crew you see suddenly come up from the water and attach on Perfect. as merfolk start climbing up the sides of these ropes towards the ship. Getting DC contracts. Put this guy uh, at the end. The, the skull. This is like hell. Skull. 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 We're just please. trying to get to an island. Skull. Skull. Right at the bottom of the skulls. Yep. Crabby. 
Okay. So, next up is Cassidy. You're at the bottom of the boat. You see, uh, like grappling hooks made of seaweed shoot up with giant fishing hooks. And you see merfolk beginning to climb up the sides of the boat. We need to get in the boat. Um, so, I want to like channel energy into my arm and shoot an Eldritch Blast right as the one trying to climb up. Alright, there's this one here and there's that one over there. The one is towards the middle of the shrimp line. Okay, go for it. Roll. Alright. Yeah. Oh, I just started blasting. 17. Woo! That is a hit! Alright. What number is that guy over there? Are you shooting him or the rope? 72. 72? Okay. Uh, roll for damage. Uh, 10 force damage. Oh shit, really? Nice. Wow, uh... Let's do it. They have 11 life, really low. <laughs> but they have good AC, but you hit. Uh, roll for di- 11, roll a 10 sided die. Uh, one to five, he has one life left. Nine. You blast Nine. him and he Woo! shatters, he's dead. No, no, leave the hook up there. Those represent the hooks. That was All right. Yes. And with my movement, can I try and get myself back onto the ship? That was 72, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, you need a dexterity roll, because there is no rope. Job. See if Dad can like do this. We're like moving in the waves. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be hard. Whoa. Uh, seventeen. You do it. Nice. Woo! Go nice. up the side of the boat. Keep me on top there, please. Thank you. Yeah. Blast them. Okay. Let's do Boom. this. You like blast them and be like, thank you. Thank you for helping me up. Okay. Merfolk start emerging from all sides of the ship. Conrad, you're up. You have choices. Uh, we can pull the anchor, steer the boat, man the cannons, or you see the hooks on the sides. What would you like to do? Oh, you have a ballista in the front that you could sort of aim over here as well. You have choices. I'm gonna go on the anchor. Now there's also ramming. You could use ramming as well. No, 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 no ram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a ram. Tell us the DM. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Strength coming through. Strength coming through. Yeah. Strength though. Oh. Uh, I'm <laughs> pulling the anchor, sir. Uh, adva- it's it's strong, so you're gonna have to do it with a strength check with advantage. It's eight or higher. Athletics check? Either one, yeah, athletics is fine. Oh, yeah, it's uh, 24. Yeah! Was that a nat 20? No. Oh, okay. You pull it out! Anchor is pulled, so now the boat can turn and move. Very good. Anything else? Uh, only. That was your action and your movement. Only partial of the movement? Can I move back now? Uh, yeah, you can. 5, 10, 15, 20. Thanks, so please wear it that way. Excuse me, guys. I'm on my way back. <laughs> Now the boat's loose. So. Okay. Um, next up is Kiru. You're on the bottom of the boat. Your yeah, sister just saved your butt. Kiru, yeah. take my hand. Grab my hand. Grab my hand. Grab my hand. You see a, a guy over here on a, a seaweed rope trying to climb up. This is me reaching out. This guy's climbing up. The other guy was blasted away into the water uh, because of Cassidy. All right. Um, I'll just go ahead and try to get back on the ship. Okay, make a dexterity roll or uh, acrobatics. Whichever is easier for you. Uh, Eight or higher. Thirteen. You got it. You're up on top. You climb up the netting. Okay. You're rough. Anything else, sir? That was your movement. I don't suppose I can shoot from there with a with a bow. A bow at what? At the. Yes, you can. All right. Your movement was climbing back up. You're low Actually, now. Actually, I got a crossbow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Just try it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Nineteen. Woo! That's a hit. Roll for damage. What number is that? Uh, that is a D8. No, 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 no. no. Oh, wait, I'm right. 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 Uh, 79. Roll for damage. That is a 5. Awesome. He's bloody. No, no bonus actions. You good? Uh, no. Nope. Next up is uh, Mia or Eva. We're only level 1. Who? No. <laughs> not, not for long. Alright. You're over here. Um, we need to steer. We need to Steering is really far away. Can I um, run right here and cut this rope? Or... Yeah, that could be your turn. Yep, okay. that's a whole action. You go over there. All right. You're going to go cut the rope. And yeah, that's a strength feat. Hold on, the seaweed is really it's six or higher strength. Seven Woo! You cut it. Give me that skull and crossbow. Bye, mermaid. He's blowing fell. He's on the water. <laughs> It's like Helm's Deep, man. They're climbing up. Yep. I'm just going to um, move this way. Yeah. Alright, uh, the crew, I'll let you guys decide. There's three go steer. 
You have three actions the crew can do. They can attack, they can maneuver, or they can repair. So you guys can tell me what you want them to do. Maneuver meaning. The boat. Who's the biggest guy? I think send them to the, to the, to steer the boat you need. So there are three of them. So the three, they can do three things at NPC. They can maneuver, which is steer the boat with the sails, the turning, the anchor. They can attack using the ballistas or themselves with their weapons or the cannons. Or they can repair. As damage is being done to the ship, they can go and start fixing shit. All right. I think they should start moving the ship, and we can take care of the bad guys. All right. So we're gonna need somebody. I need you to put one of the yellow guys over by the uh, the back of the ship. By the yeah, the yeah, helm. Yeah. Uh, we need somebody over by the sails, yep, front and there. back. The yeah. main sail is the back one. The port, the, port, the top sail is the front one. Uh, far seeker, he's still available, and so is uh, Ivan. Ivan is a, he's a, the tank, but you can tell him where you want him to go. Okay. And he's 30, he can move 30 feet. Hey, uh, how about we put him on the ballista? And Captain can, can do whatever the hell Yeah, I'll, I'll control the Captain. Yeah, wherever he wants to go. Big guy on the ballista. Uh, there's a net here. Farseek is going to run over here and try to cut the, um, the rope, the seaweed. Purple dice, He does. He slices it. Seaweed falls. Yeah. That was his turn. Uh, now it's top of the order. Nyx. So if I move, can I not attack? Yes, you can move both. Yep. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to hop up, kind of push Captain out of the way. Uh, go ahead. Not even in the way. I know, I moved down. You'll eat or higher for you. What? Dexterity. Dexterity. Nine. You're up on top? That's you. Alright. And then I'm going to shoot at that thing back there. <laughs> and what's your range for you, weapon? Um, Crossfire. Crossfire, yeah, you can, you can reach it, yep. Okay, so roll the head. What number is that? 71? 18. That is a hit! Roll the damage. 7. Wow, very bloody. Good and shot. Can I use a bonus action? Yes, you can. Okay, so then I'm going to hit another crossbow. I like flip my hair and I'm like. Go ahead. Eleven. Um, uh, this is a finesse weapon using two. She has crossbow expert. Oh shit! Never mind. Yeah. That was me. That was my sour puss as a DM trying. To... <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is. What did you roll? Eleven. Uh, AC is. Uh, yes, you hit. Uh, ten points of damage. Your arrow kills it, impels it, it falls into the water. That's how a stun boy is. I literally just killed one. Well, you couldn't get your ass back to the boat. You were steering. <laughs> All right. Asshole. The crab, uh, let's see, 20 per turn, so you have 5, 10, 15, 20. It's at the ship. Do you have ghost No. Nope. Oh, okay. Not level 3, baby. <laughs> uh, that guy, let's put him on the deck. I'm useless until level 2, guys. I'm the sorry. other guy, put him on the deck. Okay. Put this guy uh, over there. The one he's climbing up the rope at the bottom, bottom, no, no, at the far end. That's the one I hit though. Yeah, but there's Outside more. Of the oh. Oh, no, what number is that? No, that's that guy wasn't hit yet. Seventy nine. That's that's the one I hit. No, it's not. You, you killed uh, 70, 70, one and seventy two were killed. Right. Yeah. He killed seventy two. So you got seventy nine. Seventy one, and I killed seventy nine. Oh, three. sorry. Seventy four. Right. I got you. Right here. Yeah. over here. Those three are gone, except that one climbing up. Yeah. Um, There's one on the far side back. Here. 75 on the bottom where the middle skull is at. Yeah. Yeah. Another hook comes up. Of course it is. Put this in front of the yellow guy. Put him at the bottom. And one more. Yeah, let's do it. There's another hook. No, I'm just helping you give us enemies, that's all. 
The good news is that's all the merfolk that are alive. Plus, you got this monstrosity over here. Um, okay, so here we go. Number 70, where is he? 70 is going to move towards uh, the crewman over there, and he's going to go for an attack. He misses with his weapon. I roll and I suck. To me, it's, uh, number 73, where is he? Let's put him at the top. Actually, no, 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 he threw the hook up there. That's his turn. Uh, 74, where is he? Uh, he threw the hook up. 75. He threw that. Oh, no, he's on top. Put him on top. No, that's a new hook. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. 76. He threw that hook up. 77. And 78. He's going to move towards. Uh, who's that? A, a crewman? He's going to attack. Seven. He misses with his blade. Uh, and now the crab move. He's going to attack the ship. The ship has an ace. Fifteen. And I roll a five. Yay! It starts calling at the ship, but doing no damage. The ship is rocking, go back and forth. It eventually will start breaking the hull. Now it's uh, Cassidy, and you're up. All right. So Cassidy is going to run here. Run over here to this hook and yep. then I'm gonna blast him. Elders blast. Elders blast. Go for it. Nine. That is a miss as it goes sailing in the distance, Shoot. hitting the stairs, oh, shattering pieces right. of wood. Wow. Anything wow. else, sir? Am I able to get that hook off? Um, uh, that is an action, so no. No. Okay. And that is. Okay. Um, next up is Conrad. You could fight, move the ship. Uh, the anchor is up, so the ship can be moved, or you can use the ballista and turn it around and try to shoot the crab. But it's so close, you'll be at disadvantage. Yeah. No. Or you can just jump in the air with your blade on top of the the, the crab. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cut the seaweed. Yeah. Uh, Steer the crab away. Six or higher strength goal. Six or higher. Six or higher strength. Yep. Six. Let me get that icon. It's cut. This guy cannot climb, but he's, but he's, he's gonna, still there. Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> he can come back. He's going to probably go over to one of the other nets. Uh, Karen, anything else? Any I'll movement? Use my last 25 movement. Five, 10, 15, right. 20, 25. And I'll wait the next mermaid. Yep. And he comes up. Okay. And once. So he has two. Remember, he can either try to get out of your attack range, you can hit him. If he disengages, you can hit him. Or if he attacks an ally near you. So if this guy walks past me, I get to hit him. No. Uh, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you a free attack once he comes up because he's gonna look right at you. Okay. So. I'll be a generous person. I won't get crazy with meta shit. Um, next up is Kiru. Alright. Remember, seaweed to cut the, the rope is six or higher strength. Yeah, I'm on the Go for it. I'll give you advantage because he's occupied with the other creature. Alright. So I'm going to try and hit him with my longsword. Your longsword? Go for it. Advantage. Advantage. So 13. That is a hit. What number is that? That is 70. 70. Go for it. Six. That is he's bloody. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, that's, that's not really good. Alright. <laughs> Mia. Like I said, I'm useless. Is there something here? A bad guy? Yeah. On the bottom, yeah. There's a, there's a hook? Yeah. I'm gonna climbing go up. across here and then shoot my crossbow. Down in Down it? Go him. for it. Just try straight sideways. Nine! You miss! It goes flying into the water. Splash! It hisses at you. I'm sorry! This wasn't my decision. 
Make my crossbows to me. Uh, the crew is going, what would you like them to do? A far seeker, he's going to try to remove that, I think six or higher, to cut that. Fifteen, he does it. That hook falls into the water. Now far seeker is going to slide down these rails and, uh, let's see, uh, put him on the other side of that cannon. Like he's running towards, uh, Kido. Yep, right there. That's it. Now the crew, what would you like the rest of the crew to do, guys? Shouldn't this guy hit him? Okay, here we go. Attack him. I don't think he has a choice, really. Yeah. Uh, he lets go, uh, he's raised out, he swings, and I rolled a three, so he misses as the creature dodges that attack. What about the next guy? This guy's already bloody. He needs the prop to get the mask down and yeah. everything. He needs to get okay, so going. that's his time for removing? Yeah. Okay, he starts working the cell. The cell starts dropping down. He's not going to make a roll because this is what he does. Yeah. So, <laughs> that cell is down. Uh, we have one more guy over here next to, I think, Conrad. The cell? Both cells are down. So now any maneuvering with the, the helm is all. It's going to be advantage and it's going to be really quick. So now it's top of the order. Nyx. Alright, can I shoot the guy in the back that's fighting the cook or whatever? Yeah, right. where are you? We where need are our you? snacks, guys. Where are you? Uh, right there. Closer. But I... Yeah, you're gonna have to move closer. The cook is up here. Oh, who's that back there? He's, the guy's it's up, there's a lot of right. debris there. It'll be disadvantage from where you're at. Move so your person. You gotta move your, your girl closer. Yeah. From there? Can yeah, I? yeah, okay. I'll let you do it. Okay. That is a hit. Roll for damage. What number is that? Um, 70. 78, I think. 78? Okay. Nine damage. Holy shit. Very bloody. Very damn. And then I have a bonus action. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to shoot at the one in the back corner there. Which one is that number? Can I shoot at the rope to break the rope? That's, gonna, that's a, a disadvantage. It's a call shot. So, but you can do it. You're rolling high. Do, so can I hit the rope or do I need to hit the guy? Uh, you can hit the guy because you're aiming, you're attacking, but the rope is uh -huh. a, it's a call shot, so it's a disadvantage. Okay. But you'll cut the rope and that thing will be gone. It can't come up on that side of the ship. I'll try hitting the rope. Okay, uh, 10 or higher. 11. She does it with disadvantage. Give me that the skull. He falls into the drink. Seven. 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 No, no, leave them there. They're, they're gonna swim to the next uh, thing that they can walk on. Alright, that's, that's all I got. Good job. Just killing it. Alright, here we go. The crab is going to attack the ship. 18. Noises. How much damage did it take last time from the wave? 31. Yeah. Oh, he gets two attacks. Two attacks. The first one was an 18. The second one is a one. Oh. Did the skull fall? Um, well, well, let me do the damage for the first thing. I'll think of something creative. Uh, he does crazy damage with his attack. Wow. 2d10. Six and. Six is twelve points of bludgeoning damage to all. Does anyone speak crustaceans? Try. Twelve points of the whole. How much? Uh, uh, roll a twenty-sided die, one to ten. He takes some damage on his, his hand. It's six. Hey! So I'll give him eight points of bludgeoning damage. He hurts his claw from that second one. So it's... A beamster! Yeah, he's taking damage. We're just like absorbing your quality. Okay. Alright, here we go. Where's number 70? Not over here. That center, center ship. Center ship. He's in the middle. Center ship. Oh, he is? Yeah. Uh, he's going to turn to attack... Um, who are the two characters next to him? Me. Okay. That's you. Uh, you're else. one, you're two, the crewman is three, four is a reroll. How are y'all brothers? Two. Two, that is you. Yeah. 
That does a nine hit. Nope. It misses with its attack. Whoa. Um, number 73. Where's 73? 73. 73 is going to swim. Uh, put it right over at the bottom over there. And it, what number is that? 72? Uh, it's 75. 75. Put him on top. Um, where's 76? 76 is over here. Uh, 76 is, is going to swim at the bottom. No, no, right at the bottom of that. 77 is going to go to the top. And where's 78? In the back. He's going to attack the crewman again. Two. Awesome! Another night one! Woohoo! <laughs> spear snaps. Long. No, because these dice cost thirty dollars and they're beautiful. So. Make it work. <laughs> um, now that was all my guys' turn. Uh, Cassidy, you're up. All right, Cassidy is gonna blast the guy over there on top, messing with the uh, with the crew. Cassidy is going to blast the guy over there. You could reach that distance with your elders class. Oh yeah. Okay. It's like one hundred twenty. Crazy. See? Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> 18. That is a hit. What Woo. number is that? Uh, 78. 78. Oh, describe how you destroy this creature, sir. <laughs> Alright, I do my this is my magic. I put it all in one hand and I blast it across and I just kind of send him flying. And he goes flying over the side, screaming in pain. <sighs> and then I'm going to run up there. Nope, I'm Ooh. not. I'm actually going to just stay right around. Okay. No opportunity. I don't want to get Conrad, attacked. you're up, sir. Well, the one guy came right in the face, so I'm going to hit him. Go for it. You free attack? Oh, free. This is your free, free, a free attack. Free attack. That is a hit. With what are you hitting him with? The great axe. Which, uh, the D what number is that? 77. Go for it. That's a 7 plus 5. Describe how you kill this creature coming up. Off with his head back into the water. Boom! Fish heads! Roly poly fish heads! Give me that. You don't get to keep him though. Alright, he goes flying over the side in pain. Your action, 77 is gone. I'm gonna get rid of this hook. For your action? Yes. Go for it. Six or higher? Seventeen. Give me that. You just throw that hook. Yeah. Yeah. You got it, bro. <laughs> Merfolk never forget you sons of bitches. Uh, anything else, sir? You good? I have movement still. Yep. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And right here. As we wait. All right. This guy's about to get uh, Kiru. Yep. Your turn. Oh, uh, let's go, go ahead. Uh, Attack that guy? Dispose him. With, with what are you using? Longsword. Go for it. That is a 24. Wow, that's it? Alright. Dispose of him. What, what number is that you hitting? 70. 70. Oh, he's almost dead, sir, but he's still hanging on. Four damage? Yeah. Well, he has, yeah, he has one left now. He's like, eh. Anything else, sir? Any movement? No? Uh, you should flick him, he'll die. Mia, you're up! What's on that side, buddy? There's two in the water. I'm gonna aim at one with my crossbow. Which one? 73. 73. Go for it. 15. That is a hit! Woohoo! Roll for damage! 75 or 76? 73. 73? Okay. Must go 1d8? Are you sure? It must be nice. Really. Six damage. She fucking rolled high. Great, it's way bloody. It's a roll, I rolled five on each one. Is that a hand crossbow or a two handed crossbow? Two handed crossbow does eight. No, it's one handed. Right. That's a one-handed crossbow, so it's a Okay. Um, anything else, young lady? Um, no. Far Seeker's turn. He's going to attack number... Seven. What's that one next 70. to 70. 70. Oh, next to him is 75. He gets two attacks. No. Eight. <laughs> Fucking eight. <laughs> uh, Far Seeker's missing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Uh, next is the crew. What would you like them to do? Starting with, I guess, the guy closest to the port, uh, the uh, stern, rather. Everything's ready. I mean, to get the port out here. Port. Yeah. Everything's ready to go. Yep. Yeah, the boat's ready, ready to go. Ready to go. Yeah, ready to haul ass. Spin the boat around. Okay, so that guy over there is going to make. He doesn't even have to make the strength roll. The ship is turning. Which direction you want it to turn? Let's turn it around. All right. Are we hitting this? We're gonna run over. They're gonna, run over. They're gonna go swim underwater. That's what they do. Can you just move out the way? Yep. Move that guy out the way in the boat. Uh, it's gonna be 90 degrees this way. Uh oh. Uh oh. Look who's facing the crab. Uh oh. Fire. All right, he just turned the ship, and we have uh, two crewmates ready to. This guy and Ivan. So, what we'd like this guy to do here is fire the cannon. Okay, he's gonna. Is an opportunity attack. Which cannon? Left. Is there a left and a right? What Why do you call you it? Have him kill that mermaid. Tell him that... you're on the ship. Tell your crewman yeah, what yeah, to do. No, no. Have them attack that mermaid. Get rid of him. Let us use the cannon. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can charge the cannon. You want to dispose of the merman first? Yeah. Okay. Here he goes. Oh my god, this fucking dice is so beautiful. A four! He misses! <laughs> what about Ivan, the cook? Ivan. Try the merman. I don't know what I can even do from up here. You can move him down. Yeah, I guess do that. Have him do the help. Help Ivan. Right there, that's good. And, and that's it. Top of the order. Nyx. Alright, should I shoot the two guys or shoot the cannon? The cannon. Well, I'm gonna take a lot of damage if both of those guys hit me though, because they're both next to me. Dude, where's the cannon so, going? Fine. <laughs> I don't want to deal with that later. <laughs> Alright. I'll do the cannon thing. Which, which your character next to the cannon? You know how to fire a cannon? Yeah, put it on the side of that so it's not convoluted. Alright, and you're going to shoot this cannon. It does a lot of damage. Uh, this is the first time you're doing it, so you're going to have disadvantage on the shot. But it's a little, uh, it's so big, you can't miss it. Is it like strange? No, this is dexterity. Okay. Range attack. 11. 11. It misses. And now it takes another round to reload that. So. Can I use a bonus action? Not to reload it. You can just use it. Crossbow? Yeah. Alright. I'll let you do that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Make a roll. I'm gonna hit 75 for a 10 to hit. Okay. Uh, you miss. It sails off yeah. into the distance. Yep. Anything else? Nah. Crab is going to hit this 20, so we're gonna say 5, 10. Is that the ship? It's going to attack the ship. Oh, it's about time. Dirty 20. And damage. Eight and nine. That's the first attack. That's 17 damage. The boat is at 238. The hole is at 238. Second attack. Oh, I rolled. The hole is 238. I rolled a nine. He misses in the second attack. Yeah. Does he take any damage? Uh, no. He, I did that because he rolled a one. You missed this. You missed this shot. Where's number? Did, yeah. Where's yeah. 70? Number 70. Center of the ship. He's going to go for. Good luck. One, two. The guy is three. And four is going to be Conrad. Three is three. 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 Now you can use it. So, right now? Yes. Now you can I'm going to hit him. He has a sentinel feed. Explain it, please. I'm going to read it to you. I can stop. Uh, da, 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 da. Which one? The reaction is attack? Yeah. I can use my reaction to attack an adjacent creature as it attacks someone else. Woo! Go for it. As it attacks someone else? Yeah. Nat 20! Nat 20! What's the max damage your weapon does? That's a D12. Oh shit, uh, explain how you kill this creature. Just, just chop his head off. Another head! Fish head! Fish head! Give me that guy. Can he 
And I will keep keeping the, 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 the body. The body is going to leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Lay it down. Lay it down. And that was 70, right? Tea bag it? That was 70? Yeah. 70. Um, okay. Next is the number 73. Where is he? Oh, no, my guy. Oh, he's dead. He can't attack. 73, 73. Uh, he's going to swim that way. Well, there's no... I know, but he's still going to swim. So you figure 30, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There you go. That was 73. 75. Where's that? In the middle there. Uh, he's going to turn towards one, two, or three. It's going to be a two. Four. 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 Reroll. Two. two. Okay, yeah, that would be you. What? What? No. You automatically you're gonna take eight points of slashing damage. And now the double. Oh, there's only been two points. Uh, six more points of slashing damage. He's out. You out. Ah, you drop. Lay him prone, please. It hisses and yells in jubilee to carry you. That was number seventy. One seventy-five. Where's seventy-six? On the ground. Water. Uh, he's gonna start swimming towards the hook back there. So move thirty here. Yes. Yeah, put him at the bottom of the hook, and uh, put him at the top because that would be twenty more feet up. He's now on top. That's his turn. Oh, that's his movement. And he's going to attack one or two. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Two. Uh, two. Cast it in. Substitute it. 16. 16? 16, that doesn't make Yeah! Of course, I love it. Eight points of slashing damage. Yes, it does. It's level one, it sure does. That's his turn, and now it's uh, Cassidy, your turn. Give it right back to him. Right back to him, baby. Eighteen plus five, that, twenty-three. That is a hit. That is a hit. And what number was that? Seventy-five. Oh no, seventy-six. Seventy-six. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. 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 That is four, uh, fourth damage. Barely did anything to it. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Any other movement or anything else? I can't move. All right. Uh, next up is Conrad. Finish the job. Yeah. What number is that? 76. Go for it. It's a 14. That's a hit. Six plus three is nine. Nine damage. 73? 76. Uh, he is destroyed. Another head gets decapitated. <laughs> Let's blow it all over this ship. And then I turn. 70, 76, right? And I get in this dude's room. Okay. You give him a kiss. Yeah, kiss him on the face. That's <laughs> nasty. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, don't lick me in the face. That's nasty. My face. Um, Kiru, Kiru. Yep. Oh, death saving throw. One to ten, or oh, is it a one? Uh, no, it's tall. Oh, oh that's one it. save. Nice. Yeah, save one. No, it's good. One, two more to go. You'll be all right. Uh, Mia, you're up. All right. Where is he? Don't, don't die. I just met you. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I'll fire that cannon. Okay, Dexter, our uh, ranged attack. Just whatever I roll on this thing? Yep, yeah, like shooting an arrow or something. Oh, okay. Seven! A seven! That is a miss. <laughs> Woohoo! That you missed is right in front of you. You know, I've never shot cannon before. Alright. Next up is the crew. Uh, Far Seeker is going to dive on the ground. Take care of the threat. I'll take care of the boy. He jumps down to help him. Medicine. Twelve. He does it. You are unconscious. You get one life. I mean, conscious. Un unconscious. Un unconscious. You have one life. Too negative. Uh, okay. Then we have the two guys. Ivan. Is going. Let's, he was going to attack, so let's get him jumping over. Oh no, get him to a cannon. Yeah. Can he reload it? Those cannons. Yeah, that's his turn. He'll get over and he's reloading that cannon. Okay, there you go. Uh, now it's top of the order. Next. The cannon you're right is empty. Can this guy or the crew member reload the cannon for his turn also? Uh, over here? Yeah. That's yeah. a smart idea. That cannon is now reloaded for his turn. So now, Nick, it's your turn. That cannon is loaded, that cannon is loaded. Okay. Or are you going to dive in the air and. Jump on the crest. <laughs> so, can I use my bonus action, like, first to hit the mermaid guy? Yeah. Okay. I'll let it go. Okay. Watch out for the cat here. 20, 20. What? And that's 20! <laughs> The max damage to the cannon first. Oh, with the bow and arrow. Yes. Uh, he's dead. He's dead. Your arrow absolutely kills this creature. He falls into the water. Alright, and then use my regular action to hit the... Yeah, if you had that cannon the first roll, you guys would have been having crab sushi. Um, okay, there you go. I do. You're aiming the cannon at the crab. Go for it. It was good. Now uh, the cannon shoots. It hits. Woo! Damage time. Uh, a cannon. You need to roll seven d ten. All right. Do we? Everybody, give her a d ten. Give her a set. Yeah, she needs a bunch of d ten. D ten. Our powers combined. My friends are my power. Four. Seven. Ah. Alright, eight, three. Hold up. Eight, three, three, one, five, ten, nine, nine. Forty-five damages. Woo! Nice job. This thing, he gets hit, damage, and sinks to the bottom of the sea. Three of those were mine. You killed it. Is the boat still there? Yeah, that's The mine. boat sinks I also. Oh. It's attached to it. Super Damn. It goes down. Where's the one that, that broke? That blue one is mine. This one? Yep, sorry. Okay. And now it's calm and quiet. The other uh, the other merfolks are in the water. <laughs> they know when they've lost, and they're not bothering to attack anymore. Give me the red icons, the red skulls, please. Keep this Are we facing the right direction? I think I earned that promotion. You did. You kicked ass. <laughs> Again. Far Seekers yelling, everybody okay? Anybody needs help? As he's on his knees tending to Kiru. All right, Captain, I'm fine. All right, Captain. You? Captain? Captain, I'm good. Yes, sir. I'm hurting, though. He's holding up his hand. You're like this. <laughs> First mate! All good, Cap. Alright, let's clean up. Tend to this young lad. We have to turn the ship and head towards Turncoat Island. We have a map to find. And anybody else can do anything else? Can then you head back to the helm. I can, I'll heal him. Nice. Put your guy at the to top of the boat. <laughs> Since you're getting used to controlling the That's ship, um, you're going to get advantage on any uh, control. I'm steering the boat. Steering the boat, yep. You want to heal me too? 
No, I didn't. Oh, I mean, <laughs> we could take a short rest. We also have hit dice, too. Eight points of healing for you. Eight points of healing for you. Like, are, are we going to take a, like, a short rest or something? You can take a short rest. Okay. As we're sailing. As you're sailing, yep. Good. You have one merfolk on the boat. Kidu, uh, Kidu let's stand him up. Can I busy dead or? Yeah, no, I was like, I'll shoot him. Do you have all your dice back? I do. Okay. Um, that, is that blue? Yeah, I have all my. I got it from, from Eric. Remember, like, the first one? I don't use Eric. Alright, and at this juncture, um, uh, there's one, uh, Merfolk on the ship. He has on him Merfolk armor for about 15 gold pieces, so if you can find a shop, you might be able to get that or half. Has um, it has jewelry on it. It's worth five gold pieces. Uh, and it has a spear. Yeah, it all has is a spear, and the spear is actually worth five gold pieces. And that's it. Okay. I'm going to take the spear. All right, put it on your inventory. It does regular spear damage, so you look the at the... Uh, yeah, I'll take the armor to sell. Okay, write that down in your notes. Mermaid spear. Mermaid armor and the jewelry. I'll take the jewelry so we can sell it. Like a merv spear. Does he have any crossbows? Crossbolts on him? I can have back. I don't know. How no, that's it. That's it. No crossbows. No, 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 no. A whole crossbow. I have 50 feet. Yeah, right. <laughs> From your table. As the boat begins to sail towards Turncoat Island. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take a nice long break because the characters are going to level up to level two. Yay! We'll be back in about 30 minutes. If you leave your stream on, we'd appreciate it. It helps the store. Uh, so we'll be back in 30 minutes. Uh, the characters will level up, and you're going to see some fun shit go down on Turncoat Island. Yeah. Alrighty, Everybody's level two, correct? Level seven, let's go. All right. All right, right before you guys leveled up, you had a unique battle with some mer uh, folk. Obviously, mer folk never forget about the incident you guys did exceptionally well. Several hours have passed, and now we're heading towards the infamous Turncoat Island. It's mid afternoon when a small tropical island comes into view from the port side of the sea ferret. Captain Farseeker shouts out, Turn Cold Island ahead! As he stares out a remote island. As the sea ferret gets closer to the island, you see a bay. It's filled with all sorts of ships. Some docked, others arriving, some leaving. Each proudly displaying their pirate sigils on fluttering flags. Just beyond the ships appears to be a small ragtag port town, bustling with activity. Port Umberly, Captain Farseeker says. Beyond the town is a tropical forest, flush, lush with palm trees fluttering and swaying in the wind. As you approach the bay, the smells of seawater and damp wood give way to spiced meats, tobacco, coconut, and rum. The sound of a cannon fire in the distance rings out to mark a new hour. As the ship begins to get closer, the anchor is dropped. Far Seeker speaks to all of you. Remember the mission, ladies and gentlemen. We need to get the map. I have a contact. He's waiting for you in a tavern called the Bleeding Orca. You'll find it within the Port Umbly town. But before you go there, you also need to pick up supplies. So these are the tasks I have for each of you. Inside the Bleeding Orca, you need to find my associate, Preston Frost. You'll recognize him. He's an older chap dressed like myself. He has silver hair. He's always smoking long, exotic cigarettes. He has the information that we need regarding the whereabouts of this map. And without that map, we cannot find the Eye of Poseidon. But when you go into the Bleeding Orca, you just need to realize there are a lot of pirates in there. No one sheds blood. No one angrily gets into fights. There's lots of games and gambling and drinking. I encourage all of you to partake. More importantly, 
the ship needs to be put in order. There's a small uh, shop in the port called the Pirate's Booty. Please go there and present the list that I provided to you, what we need as far as supplies. Preston Frost, the Bleeding Orker, and the Pirate's Booty. And we do not want suspicious eyes on us. Trust no one, be careful what you say, and more importantly, blend in. If you go into the Bleeding Orker and you don't participate in the gambling in the games, you will cause suspicion. I and my men will stay at the ship and start working on the repairs. Do you have any questions? Oh, where's our little uh, weird guy that we found? He's at. He's sitting on the base right next to you guys. On the deck, rather. Perfect. And coin for the supplies. He reaches up and it gives you a bag of copper and silver. Present this to the storekeeper and they'll get the supplies ready. And remember what I said! There's no fighting in, in Port, uh, Port Umberley, but just keep in mind, trust no one, and watch what you say around everyone. Farewell, my friends. Have fun. I'll wait for you here. So, you can take a small rowboat. You guys conveniently put yourself on the dock the way you'd like to be set up. You guys take the rowboat from the seafarer and you head over to this makeshift dock area. And as you walk on top of the creaking docks, the first thing that assaults you is the smell of unwashed bodies from other pirates. Pirates of all shapes and sizes are moving about this port. Many take notice of you, others could care less. Everything in this area has a rundown and forgotten look to it. And from the barnacle covered docks to the debris and the refuse that's floating in the waters, you also see malnourished monkeys chasing small crabs about the port. Port Umberley, it lives up to his name and it does not disappoint. So at this point you guys get to uh, the top of this dock. You see there are several buildings ahead of you. You can't really tell from where you're at which is what. So eventually you'll have to make your way across. Can I walk up to the guy with the cannibal? Okay. Uh, as you start getting close, you happen to see another pirate running in your direction from the dock, and he's real short and stubby. It's actually a dwarf pirate. Where'd he go? He's so small, I can't see him. He's carrying a chest, and he's running in a frantic pace towards you guys in this direction. He stops in front of all of you, slides a little bit, holds on to the small chest. He has a large crab mascot on his shoulder. This dwarf pirate has a funky-looking greenish hat. He looks at all of you. Quickly! Don't tell the sea devils where I am! He runs through some barrels where you at and he jumps into the barrels and he hides and you see that. So he's, he's in the barrel? Yes. The front one or the back one? The back one. To the back one. Towards you guys. At that moment you see three figures walking across the dock. There's an old man at the far end holding a crate of fish and these three figures are individuals and they're women. They talk to him. The man with the fish gestures towards your direction. Three women slowly approach. A pirate female tiefling. Bright reddish pink skin. Another female with a black cape cloak with a long rifle with a scope on top of it. And walking in front of both of them is another female, but she's wearing an odd outfit. It is an imperial outfit from the Sirens. It catches your attention, but she's no siren. If you can really pick up, the outfit is being worn differently. And you also notice there is some small pellet holes in the clothing and brown stains representing blood. So these three women are very serious looking and nasty looking female pirates and they make their way across the dock and their eyes fall upon you. The woman that's wearing the siren naval gear, her eyes scan and she speaks. Have you seen a short run to the dwarf running in this direction? A dwarf? I'm afraid I have not seen one. Can you tell me what he looks like please? Let's get perceptions if you want. Perceptions? Yep. Honey, he's deception. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Uh, 17. She looks at you. Um, she looks at you now. The one with the imperial outfit. Aren't you saying she's a dwarf young lady? I haven't seen one before. At that moment, you hear a pop of bubble gum. As the female with the long rifle and the scope seems to be chewing a gun, and she has a smile, almost a sinister smile about her face. The teakling's tail is slowly wrapping back and forth. She has a very suspicious look as well. They glance around at all of you. Okay. Have a nice day, laddies. And the three women slowly turn and walk away. Now you are boiling with anger and offense that this other woman is wearing a uniform, an officer uniform of a dead siren. 
They turn around, walk back, and as they leave, the woman with the cape once again pops gum, a bubble, grins as she thinks she knows what you guys are up to, and they walk away as they disappear into the town. You hear a voice coming from the second barrel. Is it clear? Are those seats okay? Put my hand on top of the, uh, the barrel. Yep. Like casting it in. Yeah. I'm going to lean it a little bit. What the bloody devils is going on? You guys hear that? Why are you running? Uh, do the um, intimidation roll with advantage. And that's going to be 10 or higher. 17. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. What do you think? Let me out and I'll tell you, my friend. There's no need to dump me into the sea. I'm going to unlean it, but yep. I'm not going to take my hand off the top. I'm just going to crack it. You see this beady little dwarf eyes looking up at you, and he's pretty pissed off. And you see the crab just running around, his pet crab is running around the barrel on his shoulder. My laddie, let me out. Hand me the chest. No, and he holds on to it tight, and you hear the hissing of a crab, and jumps on his shoulder. I'm going to the back. All right. <laughs> I'll put my hand on it. Like, Let's see what this is. I'll let you out. If you'll tell us what you're running from them for. This is Point Amelie. Of course, everybody has coin. I caught those heathens. Nothing, and I took advantage of that. I need these coins for my ship. We're all pirates. What's the problem? The problem is we might potentially have enemies because we lied to them. What are you going to do for us to make sure it's worth it? Half the coin inside this chest. How much is half? Who am I speaking with? He says. Name's Cassidy. Cassidy, I don't like making greetings in a barrel. Let me out so we can communicate. I am Grey Worm. Grey Worm Goldfoot. Gonna you know, open it. Okay, and let him stand up. And he looks pissed off and he gets up. The crab scurries out and goes around the deck. He looks at all of you. He's looking up at you. He holds up the chest. I have a probably 200 copper pieces in this. You're welcome to 100 of them. But do this quickly because those sea devils will probably come back in this area. Alright, let's take a hundred back. Take the pieces and just shove them out. Alright, you stop taking it. Uh, he looks over at you. And hey, what is your name, lovely one? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You see the crab almost looks like it's, it's, it's liking you. The crab is running around your feet, pulling up. It's a pretty large crab. Uh, I have a question for you. Who do you know of those three women? They're like every other woman on this island. Sea devil whores looking for coin and to stab daggers in men's backs. Calling you a whore, my lady. He looks at you. Nor you, lovely one. Well, you don't know anything about them, their whereabouts, where they came from, what their ship's name is. I do not get into business of other pirates on this island, little lady. If you want to find out more about them and everybody else, the bleeding orca is where you want to go. And he gestures towards his two story building across from the docks. Perfect, thank you. Thank you. All right. He looks at you. And what was your name, bully? I'm just going to be shoving out the way people are doing. All right. Uh, he looks over at you. Your name? You don't say anything? <laughs> and the dwarf looks at you. Well, at least two of you are friendly. Come, my child, come! And the crab leaves his leg, jumps, the razor leg, jumps on his shoulder. He takes the, the chest, he starts peeking, and he walks in and disappears into the top. He's on the chest. With Grey Worm Goldfoot. Grey Worm Goldfoot. Grey what? Worm. Grey Worm Goldfoot. Yeah, Grey, W-I-R. So, what we got going on is several things. This old man over here that has the fish, the crate of fish, he accidentally drops it, and the fish scatter about the dock. Other pirates walk by him, laughing, some of them kicking the fish into the sea. This old man, this old uh, sailor, seems frustrated. He's on the ground picking up the fish. Hold on. Over here, as a group of pirates seem to be putting all sorts of supplies in a boat, and they're talking frantically. It seems like something very seriously is going on with that group. This group over there is a bunch of pirates, and they seem to be laughing and having a good time, but you notice they have a big white sheet, and they're painting a black bleeding hand on it. And over here, song and singing, as a group of pirates are singing some songs and dancing and having a great time, probably a good opportunity to make friendly with some of the locals. So you have opportunities, what would you guys like to do? Do I happen to recognize any of them? Uh, you do not recognize them, but you recognize the symbol. It's a crude drawing of uh, Ignacio the Black, or the Lost Hopes Black. Yeah. Hmm. Can I go help the guy pick up the fish? Okay. Are there any crabs like, scuttling around near me? There are lots of crabs scuttling around here. 
So like, I'm gonna catch one and then throw it to one of the monkeys that's hungry. Now, let's make a dexterity saving throw to snatch up one of these little things that are really fast as these malnourished monkeys are trying to grab them. You catch it. You catch the crab and you throw it to one of the monkeys. A really skinny brown monkey with a long tail grabs it and starts eating it. Its beady eyes look up at you. It winks and it stares at you for several minutes. Something tells you you might see this monkey again. We should all just get a pet crab monkey. <laughs> okay, you were running over to the old man, right? Uh, Kiri, what are you going to do? I'm just going to look up Alright, move you. Kiru. No, Kiwi's better. Kiwi. Kiwi. That was my nickname when I called him. Uh, next, uh, Eva. I am going to head towards the shop. The pirate booty. Pirate's booty. From where you're at, that's the pirate's booty, and that looks like it would be a tavern, and I'll explain to that. I'm just going to walk towards the shop. Okay, so put your figure up uh, in front of those guys. Yeah. Right there, yep. And uh, cast it in. Um, I'm gonna walk over to these guys that are frantically doing the shit. All right, so why don't you put your guy in front of them then? Let's move her up to the pirate's booty. I'll, I'll stop describing shit in a second. Uh, you gonna move up or there's other groups? Yeah, I'll, I'll stick with Terry. All right, let's move it up. So, Con uh, Conrad. Yes, sir. You, you see this old man, and he's a pirate. He has a black bandana on his head. He's really skinny. His ribs stick out, but he's pretty athletic looking. Unshaven. He's probably in his late 50s. And he's picking up this fish, and he's mumbling and cursing to himself, and putting him inside a, 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 a crate. Can I offer you my hand? He looks up at you, and he squints in the sun. You see the crackle wrinkles off of his tanned face. <clears throat> Are you going to pick the bloody fish in the sea as well? One gray hair to another. No. He he smiles at you and goes, "Aye, my laddie, I can use a hand." Scoop him up, throw him in his bucket. Okay. And uh, ask him, uh, "Where's the games?" He reaches down and grabs this bucket crate with the fish, and he looks over at you. If you want fun and action, the bleeding off is where you be, laddie. And he gestures over to a building to the side where you see people coming and going. People walking out of it, looking at having a great time, and I'll describe it when you get closer. Tell them, uh, have a good day, old salty dog. All right, now he goes, wait a minute, laddie. I have something for you. Hold my crate. And he gives you the crate with the fish. He starts going through his pockets, and he pulls out a ring that looks like an anchor to a ship. May these protect you on the dark journeys ahead. And he gives that to you, and he grabs the crate back. Okay, that is a ring of protection, plus one to your AC. Put it on the first and it, finger. And it resembles an anchor. Okay, let's see. okay, um, what we're gonna do is now I'm just gonna go around. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, I'm gonna walk towards the bar. Okay, and what about you, brother? Okay, we have a group of people partying and singing and dancing over here. They look like they're having either a competition or a good time. You've got uh, the pirates over here that are uh, very busy in the tent unloading supplies into this ship. And you have a group over here that seems to be painting a large flag with a, a, a sigil of a black bleeding hand on a white flag, and they seem very intent as well. And some of them are laughing and, and having a decent time painting this flag. Probably just gonna go with the more Okay. Mia? Good. I'll go um, in the shop to gather supplies for the was an option to go in the bar? Yeah, I went in the bar. Let me go to her and then I'll go. I thought we were walking around. Well, yeah, I'm just well, trying I to get everyone. To See, her other, other, other turns was there, so your next turn will be going. Right. As you approach the store, you see people coming and going holding all sorts of supplies and equipment. In the front of the door, it says, The Pirate's Booty. Swashbucklers walk by, they give you a little nasty look, some smile at you. You go into the doorway, the door opens up and bells ring, and there's an older merchant behind the counter. She says, Welcome to the Pirate's Booty! What will it be? Now you see there's also other pirates with nasty looking curved swords, and they're standing watch. There's three of them, and they're very large. Also, decorating the shop on the walls, besides all the shelves of goods, 
are severed dried hands hanging like Christmas decorations all around the shop. The older woman with her white hair up in a bun, she's smiling at you, her face crinkly, tan skin like everybody else. Uh -huh. Steve's, Steve's problem here? Not anymore, young lady. Clearly. How can I help you? I'd like to get some coin from my ship, please. And I'd like to get some coin from you, please. Absolutely. Can you give her the thing? I don't know how much it is, but I have coin right here. What do you need? All right, I gave her my list. Okay. What? She looks at the list that you wrote. <laughs> Five planks. Okay. <laughs> uh, main top sail. Uh, shrill neck. Three tempered woods. A quart of Occam. 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 Three barrels, two barrels of water, one flower, and one barrel of flower. Lass, what you be what be your ship in the bay? The seafarer. She looks out in the distance. I recognize the flag, the skull of the sun. And the coin you have? Valid. Takes it. My men will make sure to bring this out to your vessel. Enjoy, Port Umberley. The bleeding orc I heard is great this time of year. Do you buy here, like a trade? Oh, we absolutely do. What is it you need? Oh, nothing. Just a crew member has something to sell. I'll send him in shortly. We buy and we trade and we sell. Whatever your heart desires. Thank you. What is your name? Runa Hindergrass, and this is my establishment, the Pirate's Booty. Nice to meet you, Runa Hindergrass. You good? That's it. Okay. Uh, next up is going to be... <laughs> you. Okay. You said uh, they were frantically messing about here? Yes, and they seem to be putting supplies into this boat, and they look very busy, and they have concerned looks on their face. What the rush, my, uh, my friends here? One of the pirates stops and he holds a crate and he puts it down and he looks at you and he looks you up and down. Uh, what's your charisma? My charisma? Yeah. Uh, 17. Oh. <laughs> okay. Hi, my lady. My name is Radcliffe. We are getting ready to re uh, finish our ship. We were attacked the night before the storm. Ah, I see. Who attacked you? Who else attacks our kind? The bloody phantom and his bitch sirens. They attacked us and destroyed our vessel, but there was a strange storm that arrived, saved our asses, and we made it back to Port Umberley. But we need to restock quickly. Uh, yes, we were caught in that same storm. Aye, what ship you from? We're from the seafarers. And you see all the men sort of stop and they look at you. Farseeker? Yes, he is our captain. He was one of us, a windjammer. Our oh, ship is the Mongoose. Ah, the Mongoose. Tell him his old crew wishes him well. Oh, I will make sure that he receives that message. And I, he's probably here to see Preston, is he not? Yes, he is, actually. Okay, they all sort of look at each other. And they all sort of grin. Uh, let's make a perception roll. Uh, dirty 20. You probably think you're probably getting too much information. Yeah. Uh, but that's what the vibe you're getting from their looks. So sort of suspicious at you, and they're smiling, yeah. and they're still slowly not putting the equipment back into the boat. Give Preston our regards. We're waiting for him in the bay. Well, if you have a moment uh, of your time, would you like to speak with Farsi to yourself? They all laugh. <laughs> now, ever since he left us and he decided to have a boat similar name, the Ferret, we chose to keep away. But let him know that we're doing fine and we wish him well. Okay, and can I get your name? No need for that, my friend. We don't need yours either. I see. One of the guys in the boat says, we don't need names on this island. And they start moving about their business. Okay. Anything you want to ask me? No? no? Okay. We'll just make our way over to the uh, the people painting the hand. Okay, you said there's no fighting allowed in the fort, right? Nope. There we go. So I'll take <laughs> well, let's just take it outside the port. <laughs> Doesn't mean we can't go to the Just like, you can't fight here. So let's just take it somewhere else. Um, okay, uh, young lady.
sit down on the lounge and play video games all the time. Well, I need to go talk to everybody before we come inside. Completionist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Check the weapons. Nice weapons. Wait, wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> Next, you approach this establishment, it's pretty larger than the others, and it's busy with activity. Uh, the structure itself is a two-story uh, uh, building. The main doors, there are two main doors, but they're made of vertical bamboo, all stitched together with odd rope. There's a painting of a faded killer well on both the doors. It's crudely painted, but nevertheless you can tell it is a killer well. There's music and chatter coming from within this rustic, old, inviting establishment. The doors open up! Out comes a tall man, but he's not just a man. It's a pirate with a black hat, like a captain's hat. Beautiful, long, three-quarter length trench, burgundy suede jacket. Gold buttons all around the sides, a very expensive looking pirate. But he's not human. His face is of a jaguar. He has a long brown tail dangling in the wind. And with a smile and his whiskers going up, this half-man, half-jaguar looks at you and smiles. My lady. Hey, how's it going? Why are you here by yourself? To grab a drink. You are here with friends, I take it? Perhaps. He takes his hat off, and it's almost like a Captain Crunch type of black hat with a big skull and crossbones. <laughs> his ears pop up, and it is a cat's face on a man's body. I am Captain Scenix, my lady. What do they call you from where you're from? Let me guess. Rose? I go by Nick. Nyx, welcome to Port Humberley. I've not seen you here before, so I take it this is your first. And you actually hear the purring inside his body like a cat. Care to join me for a drink? I have business to take care of, young lady. There's much drink inside, but I have a feeling. And he goes like this with his fingers. And you see he has nice, manicured claws, fingernails. We may run into each other again. Trust nobody in this place. I hate to see somebody as beautiful as yourself get swindling of your property. And he stops, and he turns back, or your body. Good day. Have a good day. He turns, and he walks away. You gonna go? Yep. You open up the door, and then I'll get into a bigger description of what's gonna happen. Um, uh, Mia? Or... I'm gonna go stand by Nick's where I'll go in with her. And okay, then go ahead. Okay, go in together. Right. Hopefully the group will you be can over be, here yep, eventually. Yep, we'll do that. Um, uh, you? I'm going to the, 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 the laughing bunch over here. Oh, that group over there? Yep. Okay, put them over there. What about this station? <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, you get to this group over here. It's a group of pirates and they're enjoying song, they're singing and they're dancing and they're having a great time. One of them has a harmonica and they're singing pirate shanties. One of the pirates looks over at you. Good afternoon, stranger! Such a big man like you! Do you enjoy music and dance? I do. So they all smile and the song actually stops. And they all stop singing and they talk amongst themselves. Would you care to partake in a dance competition? One of them takes out a, a shiny gold coin, throws it up and it spins on the floor and it stops. And they all have these big, unique, genuine smiles on their faces. You feel like you can probably trust them. Right, I take a coin out of my own. You throw it down. So, they all look at you. <laughs> um, gentlemen, let us have some music. And they begin singing a new shanty song. We are outward bound for King Town with a Now, you're at the door about and you hear this music going on. She's next to you. You look back and you see the barbarian with a bunch of pirates singing a really cool shanty song. The way this is going to work. It's a dance contest. The first one uh, to get four wins, basically four successful rolls, is going to win the money. So this pirate stands and he starts dancing a weird shanty dance. So and this is performance rolls, okay? Weird shanty. I rolled a five, so I missed the first one. What's your? Uh, you have to scroll higher than me. That's <laughs> one. You are surprising all of them, and especially for Nyx and Mia, you guys see this barbarian starting to dance the shanty. Because of your nat 20, that's going to be two points, so you have two more to go. The pirate smiles, he looks at you, and he goes, no, 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 this is how we do it. I will do uh, seven plus one. Fourteen. Oh! 
Oh. Hit the Dougie on him one time. <laughs> You're killing it. Uh, you get this one, you win the dance competition. Fucking four. <laughs> Let me show you how we do it in my side of the world. In 11. Woo! <laughs> You won. One of them goes down and picks up the coin, flips it over to you, and they all smile and they all reach around. What's your name, Lenny? Conrad. Conrad, hey! And they start yelling. Conrad just killed him. Yeah, Conrad killing it. Um, before we go into the tavern, what would you like to do? Oh, okay. So, Kiru. Okay. So Kiru and Cassidy, you both are walking towards the other group of pirates, right? Yeah. As you're getting closer, they're working on this painting. They're laughing, but they have serious looks about their face. One of them, or a few of them, you start hearing the words, destroy it all. This is what you're hearing as you get closer. As you get closer, they sort of stop. They present here in the area, they sense it, and they all look at you. Good evening. I couldn't help but notice that you have the Lost Hope's uh, flag over here. One of the pirates walks up to you and spits on the ground, almost misses, nearly hits your foot. Nasty spittle. He squints at you with a nasty look. What be your business, laddie? Just curious. I just was wondering what you were doing with Ignacio's flag. Uh, let's do a persuasion roll. Okay. That's 20. What? Jeez. Oh, sorry, wrong one, wrong one. That's 20! <laughs> the, the pirate says to you, My apologies, my lady. You look like one of Ignacio's men. I am Bello the Whistler. These are the stray dog pirates. What be you need? Just curious. I, I see that you are also not a big fan of Ignacio as well. No, we are plan to pay him back. Many leagues have already killed many of the stray dogs. He be thinking we are dead, but no, sorry, we are still alive. So, we heard he is preoccupied looking for a traitorous scum about his crew. And this traitorous scum allegedly stole one of his boats. We are going to mask our boat to look like he is, so hence the flag. And we're going to sneak close to enough to board his ship. And before you know it, we'll have Ignacio's head on a platter! Huzzah! I think that is a great idea. Do you know anything else about this traitorous bilge rat that left his, his crew? Oh, we heard that he's a traitor, and any traitor of a crew deserves to hang a dead man's tail, hanging from their neck. It is foretold. Any pirate that is a traitor would always hang. And he sort of folds his hand up, turns his head, and sticks his tongue out to mock somebody hanging. The other men start laughing. I see. It's just a matter of time. Traitors always rise to the top like a dead, bloated body in the lagoon. Well, thank you for the description, my friend. I think your idea will work swimmingly. Ah, it will! Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> you know that they're gonna be decimated. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So at this juncture, we're all gonna go to the. Yeah, we'll go. To the, yeah. Oh, oh well, I go shopping. After. Um, Nix is the first one at the door. As you get to her, she has her hands on the door, ready to push them open. Yeah. And you see her. Are you guys gonna say anything to her before you get, she pushes the doors open? Let's have a drink. What well, took you so long? How did I feel about a woman opening the door? I had to go shopping. <laughs> <up> to you. <laughs> Let me let me walk in first. I got this. Nix has got this. She's the first mate of the sea fairy. First mate. Uh, let's let's go. Nix puts her hands on the vertical bamboo stalks that are tied together the doors, and she pushes open to the bleeding orca. We're gonna take a quick break. Uh, I have to set up the tavern, the bleeding orca. It's gonna be about maybe five minutes or so, so we'll be right back. Got it. Then I'll go shopping after. All right, Mr. Ortiz. Not shopping. Selling. Selling.